Carolyn Doobie here. What's the play for today? Well today I felt like moving a little bit of color around so I'm doing some paint pouring. I had some leftovers in a cup and that's what I'm gonna use but since I didn't have enough of that I got to add some other colors to it and in the end I like how it turned out but about halfway through not so happy with it. I'm gonna put a layer of white paint on the canvas. I'm gonna put a generous amount and I'm gonna spread it all around. I'm using a palette knife here, but you can use anything to spread it around from a piece of cardboard to your hand. Whatever makes you happy, you just need to get that white paint all around. And once I've got that white paint around, then I'm ready to bring in the color. I have got the remnants of a dirty pour in here. So basically I've added a bunch of colors to the cup and I'm gonna give it a San Francisco pour. Now I call them San Francisco pours because this looks like Lombard Street with the twists and the turns and the winding around. Now this isn't enough color for me, so I'm gonna add a little bit more. I'm just gonna squeeze some paint in there just to up the amount of color that's here on this canvas. Once I've got all the paint on there, I'm gonna use my trusted assistant to help me move this around. Who is this assistant? It's gravity. By just tipping it up, that's gonna start pulling the colors around the canvas. Now I love the look when paint is running over the edges, when that little bit of color wraps around. So I want this stuff to run over the edges. Now the stuff that runs over the edges, is that gonna be wasted? Not a drop. In the box that's catching the paint that drips, there's a Teflon sheet in the bottom. So the paint that's down there, when it dries, it'll lift up like a beautiful acrylic skin. Now I still don't have quite enough paint on here. So what do I do then? I simply add a little bit more to it. So what have I mixed with the paint that's in the squeeze bottles or the cups or the jars? Well, in this video, the stuff that I'm using is called Floetrol, and I'm using it as a pouring medium, something that I mix with the paint that allows it to move around and will help it dry nice and evenly and smoothly without any cracking. So how do you mix those together? What's the ratio? How much? Well, I've got all that for you in another video, and I'll have that link down below. So what made me get out the palette knife to add a little bit more here? Well, I just didn't like how it looked. So if you don't like how a poured painting looks, you keep doing stuff to it until you do like it. And that palette knife with that swipe is bringing out all sorts of cells, which I adore about paint pouring. I love it when those show up. I also love to use every drop that I can out of the cup. So even though it's kind of the dregs that are left in there, I'm still gonna add them on a few drops of it here and there just to get a little more color, a little more stuff happening here on this canvas. Really happy with how the top is looking, but I have a problem here. There's something that's bothering me going on, and that is the sides. When I get the top looking wonderfully just the way I want, there's usually some little area on the side where the paint just hasn't gone or covered completely. And I really like having that covered paint on the side. Now there are a couple ways to solve this problem. One of them is to use a palette knife. You can scoop up the paint that's in the bottom of the box and you can use the palette knife to spread it around on the sides. Or if you wanna put a solid color on there, you can add that. And one of the ways I find it easiest to add that is when I'm using a condiment bottle. Yep, a squeeze bottle like what you'd find in the kitchen section. Right now on the bottom of the screen, you can see just the tip of it filling in the sides. There we go, now we've got it fully on camera. I've taken one of those squeeze bottles and I've put the paint and pouring medium in there and now I can squirt it directly where I want to fill in those sides. And actually earlier in the video, you saw me using these when I did the pink and the teal on here. The reason why I like these is it allows me to have some precision and some control over where I'm gonna put the paint. Using a squeeze bottle lets it go right where I want it. Now putting a little bit here on the sides, bit by bit, I've got those sides just about covered. But there's one side I've been known to forget, and that's the far side, because I can't see it as easily. So to make sure that I can get that one, I'm just gonna turn the canvas around and make it easy to see. Then I can get paint added on any of the bare spots that are on there. The sides and the top are just the way I want them, and so now I'm gonna let it do its dripping. 
I'm gonna leave it here for about 30 minutes or so to let any drips land in the box. That way there isn't any mess anywhere. Now in a moment, you're gonna see the video kind of skip or jump. And that's where I've cut out all of that 30 minutes of drying time so you can see what it looks like about half an hour later. So that's about how much the paint has moved here while it was setting up. Once it's done dripping, then I wanna move it to a drying place, someplace where it can rest and have the edges of the canvas not touching anything. For me, it's a couple of plastic cups, actually not a couple, it's four plastic cups turned upside down that it will rest on. To be effective, something doesn't need to be fancy or complex. If you wanna know more about paint pouring, if you wanna see the entire process from start to finish and have it broken down step by step so you can get a strong understanding of it, check out that video I mentioned earlier where you can see the paint mixed because you can also see the things like the drying rack or how I set up the box where all the paint is dripping into it. Well, thanks so much for joining me for today's play. I hope you've had as much fun as I have. If you've been enjoying this video, I'd so appreciate it if you gave it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more of my videos, hit that subscribe button. That way you'll know as soon as I have a new one out. Thanks so much for letting me be a part of your colorful journey.